Good morning, good morning, good morning, my beautiful people. Today is another beautiful day up here in the ATL or in Georgia. No matter which part of Georgia you come from, people always say, Yo, my dear ATL. Come like where you come from, Jamaica. It's a, them always say you come from Kingston or Moby. The time you come from Clarendon or Westmoreland or St. Thomas. But people just say, Yo, Kingston or Moby. So when you're there, Georgia, no matter where you come from, them say they come from Atlanta. A time, I do loot with it. I just saw it go. Anyway, good morning, good morning, good morning. But there, yeah, this morning, just wake up not too long. It's about 7.30. I get up from about, maybe about 6 something. Oh, I hear it pull out this morning. I go wash it and get it redone not today but tomorrow today is wednesday today is wednesday yeah today is wednesday so i'm gonna get it done tomorrow morning make an appointment i'm like to just wash it and keep it out like a bit for at least a couple maybe a day or two but tomorrow i'll get it braid it back yeah this is how it look like when it let out you know, full china we have some some near guy in me you know all right so yesterday video still not up uh, up as yet I'm about to edit yesterday video I'm tired last night I couldn't really touch it last night but Monday video out Sunday video out. Yeah, today are Wednesday. So I'm gonna put out Tuesday video today. So the video they might fall a day behind. Normally me they try to keep up and get it out the night of but it's just a lot for go through sometime at the end of the day after me do a full day up and down at night time it just you know hard to put out so normally the videos is a day behind, day behind. so today on wednesday i'm gonna work on yesterday's video and drop that out um, today so like now with early seven in the morning i'm gonna start play it start check it out see what need for take out or put in as i said most of it going is not you know, most of the video, most of my record, I put it in. It's just what, like a one word here and there I might take out. You know, or stoplight, or if I make a mistake and turn upon my road and, you know, film it, then we take that out. So things like those, we take out. But other than that, everything where you hear me say is, is pretty much in there. So it's minimal editing, I feel. I just add intro, you know. Add music at the end. Do look a speed up here and there, and that's it. So, so yeah, guys, my day upon it. Um, me I gotta do this editing real quick. Me get one more subscriber. Respect to the one subscriber there again. Big respect, whoever you are. Yeah. Yeah, man. I'm gonna check the dashboard. Sometimes I have to go through and check the like, analytics and see how much views you get. And you know what I say? See if you're doing better or you're doing worse, you know? So. Yeah, man, but. Let's so go and take the time and go through today now. Um, as Mr. Medid want to try get 
more restaurant stuff done this week. So, tomorrow I have an appointment with the grease trap man. A different grease trap man. Um, just to get a second coat. Uh, I'm going to start clear out my garage. That's what I'm going to start doing. I mean, I'm even going to do that today. Instead of going on the road, because it doesn't make no sense we start buying up the stuff them and then we don't have nowhere to put them. So I'm going to clear out the garage today. Try to start getting rid of some stuff or figure out I'm going to put them in our clue. I'm going to try to start figure out what need to go wear today. And I'm going to try to set up the little tent. Hold on there. I'm going to take off this. Yeah, so try set up the little tent thing yeah. like a tent something that way um bury the pipe so I'm gonna put the put it in at the ground and then um I wonder if the weeds them start dead yet and look like them start brown up you know yeah some of them start brown up and die already I work fast, so we see. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna set up the tent, bury the pipe in the hole today. So I'm gonna get that done and start cleaning out the garage. Those are my two things that I'm gonna do. If I have enough time, I'm gonna end up um, go, go to the restaurant store and go look for the blender. If I have time today, I'm gonna do a forgetting daughter by 12 early release. So, um, we might not be able to do that because once you do that and go down. <clears throat> go pick her up on something, the day come like it done for me. You know? But, um, as I said, I'm not close to them. So, yeah, um, as far as the restaurant, I have everything, everybody lined up. We just wait on drawings, guys. So that's why I see we ain't doing nothing much on it. We're waiting on drawings. So once I get the drawings and everything is good with drawings, I could submit them. So, once we submit those drawings to the to the the county or the city then we could start you know getting stuff getting stuff you know but until that time it don't make no sense there's nothing else to do not that no, makes sense there's nothing else to do really yeah. but yeah the the weeds are they're looking like they're drying I mix up another batch later today and spray. You know, I mix some hot water and get the day started. Wow, Alright, guys, so here, pull out. Did a little cleaning, washed up the dishes. You know, clean up a little bit. Clean up. <laughs> clean up the stove, but, but yeah, clean up a little bit. I'm here doing some editing. So I edit yesterday's video so I can upload that before before 11 30 I'm gonna get my no, data. So it's now let's see it's now 9 o'clock 9 15 right so before I go 11 30 I'm gonna get this pole done I'm gonna get that pole buried so I could hang my umbrella um so i'm gonna show you guys that when i'm doing that um i only have like let me see 10 11 two and a half hours before i go get my daughter so by the time i get done with the umbrella it's time to go get my daughter so i'm gonna show you that process in terms of um how i'm gonna get it i'm gonna cut the pipe i'll break up some power tools cut that pipe you know get it in the ground i'll film that part and show you guys um as far as the garage when i get back from picking up my daughter i'll do that in the evening time so between today's gonna be over it's wednesday and it's gonna be over by the time i do just those two tasks by the time i bury the pole for the for the umbrella and um start cleaning this garage later on the day is gonna be gone later on today i'll just go by the salon and check the salon when i get back um as far as going on the road for the restaurant stuff i don't think i'm gonna make make it to do that so I'll do that tomorrow
but today i'm going to try and make some space as i said going to the restaurant store ordering those things it don't make no sense i need the space to put it so let's say i go and i see something and i and i get it then you know i'm gonna have to put it right here in the garage so i'm gonna clean the garage first make some space and then start getting stuff so stay tuned a little bit i'm gonna break out some tools and start working on the umbrella i got two and a half hours i'm gonna try and knock it out within that time so in the meantime i'm here doing some editing on yesterday's video so let's 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 get this done and then move to the umbrella oh so i'll wash you here later too and get it braided tomorrow Oh, tomorrow I'm gonna get graded. So, you see, every day, guys, nothing is set in stone. Everything is just, you know, as I go. Um, that's how I do it. Yeah, I'll, I'll make a note of it right here on the calendar or make a list, but it doesn't happen that day sometimes. Sometimes some of these things, depending on how the day go, I'll shift things around and then what I, what I have to do today is gonna be tomorrow. Um, nothing is set in stone for me. I'll say I'm gonna do that today and then something comes up and I can't do the umbrella I have to do it tomorrow so um, bear with me sometimes you'll watch me say I'm gonna do something and that's not what I do I end up doing it next morning so bear with me on that um, so let me get this video edited put this out and then move to the umbrella wow, all right guys so here pull out did a little cleaning washed up dishes you know, clean up a little bit. Clean up. <laughs> clean up the stove, but, but yeah, clean up a little bit. I'm here doing some editing. So I edit yesterday's video, so I can upload that before before 11:30. We go get my you know, data. So it's now. Let's see, it's now nine o'clock, nine fifteen, right? So. Before I go 11.30, I'm going to get this pole done. I'm going to get that pole buried so I could hang my umbrella. Um, so I'm going to show you guys that when I'm doing that. Um, I only have like, let me see, 10, 11, two and a half hours before I go get my daughter. So by the time I get done with the umbrella, it's time to go get my daughter. So I'm going to show you that process in terms of um, how I'm going to get it. I'm going to cut the pipe. I'll break up some power tools, cut that pipe, you know, get it in the ground. I'll film that part and show you guys. Um, as far as the garage, when I get back from picking up my daughter, I'll do that in the evening time. So between today's going to be over. It's Wednesday and it's going to be over by the time I do just those two tasks. By the time I bury the pole for the, for the umbrella and um, start cleaning this garage later on, the day is going to be gone. Later on today, I'll just go by the salon and check the salon when I get back. Um, as far as going on the road for the restaurant stuff, I don't think I'm going to make, make it to do that. So, I'll do that tomorrow. But today, I'm going to try and make some space. As I said, going to the restaurant store, ordering those things, it don't make no sense. I need the space to put it. So, let's say I go and I see something and I, and I get it. Then, you know, I'm going to have to put it right here in the garage so I'm gonna clean the garage first make some space and then start getting stuff so stay tuned a little bit I'm gonna break out some tools and start working on the umbrella I got two and a half hours I'm gonna try and knock it out within that time so in the meantime I'm here doing some editing on yesterday's video so let's 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 get this done and then move to the umbrella. Oh, so I'll wash you here later too and get it braided tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow I'm gonna get it braided. So, you see, every day, guys, nothing is set in stone. Everything is just, you know, as I go. Um, that's how I do it. Yeah, I'll, I'll make a note of it right here on the calendar or make a list, but it doesn't happen that day sometimes sometimes some of these things depending on how the day go i'll shift things around and then what i what i have to do today is gonna be tomorrow um nothing is set in stone for me i'll say i'm gonna do that 
today and then something comes up and I can't do the umbrella. I have to do it tomorrow. So um, bear with me. Sometimes you'll watch me say I'm going to do something and that's not what I do. I end up doing it next morning. So bear with me on that. Um, so let me get this video edited, put this out and then move to the umbrella. Alright guys, so let me see if I could get a good spot. Alright. So let me take, I'm going to get some power tools out. I've got some power tools. In one of these bins right here. So this is what we need. So I'm gonna use this to cut the cut the pipe. I have a saw. Uh, they call them a saza. A rip, 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 I can't call it saza. We have the saw, there, but this one has the blade on it already. I don't know where to find the blade for the the saza. So we're gonna use that. Cut the pipe. So see this thing right here, we're going to use this. Cut the pipe. So let's head. Yeah. All right, so see, we got, um, the tent right here, the not the tent, the um, the umbrella, one of those umbrellas that opens up. We got our pipe right here, and we got this thing right here. So I'm gonna take this back apart. <coughs> I'm gonna take that back apart. Um, cut this pipe real quick. I'm gonna put you guys right here. So as I said, guys, this is not produced. I ain't trying to stage anything um, it's just as I go you know I record live um, it's not a live stream but whatever you see is, is, is recorded you know as I go so sometimes you'll see me on camera off camera it might be out of focus <laughs> it, it just you know what I'm saying it's just it is what it is. It's what I do in a in, in a in a day. See like no my head might be chopped off. I gotta back up a little bit. Whatever t shirt. Um but yeah. So see I had put a mark on it right here where I wanna cut it 13 inches. Um let me see. Put it back right there. Cut it. Cut it right there. So yeah, this is gonna be load. Um, let me see. I think I could put it down so you guys could see. Let me get my shoe. I don't wanna burn myself. Hold on, give me one second. Guys, okay, so let's cut this pipe real quick.
I'm going this side. this pipe in the ground so I'm gonna get my hammer and a piece of board to tap it into the ground and then I'll take that thing apart to show you how I'm gonna get everything together so give me one second let me go get my hammer and a piece of board all right so hammer is over here if it's a little dark guys sorry about that See, we're getting this hammer. All right, so I got some board over here, over in the um by the fence board. Oh, uh, this this weed killer is really working. It's killing most of the weeds, as you can see. See, they're drying up. And this is just, I put it on last night and they're already dying, already. But um, I need a piece of, smaller piece of board. Let me see, okay. There's a piece right here. So like this. Yeah, but some of these weeds are dying, not all of them. Looks like it only, works on some weed but see they're actually drying up already so I'll give it a couple of days yeah I will see in a few days what it looks like if it actually works but yeah look guys we got a little mushroom growing see little mushroom growing hmm. yeah we have a little mushroom growing there all right so I'm gonna set you guys up right here just to see let's put you in on the ground like that Alright, so this is around where I want to have the umbrella. So I think I'm going to put it closer to the house, like right there. dirt out so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna push the dirt out so every time I knock it in it takes a little bit of dirt about this much out right so I'm gonna push the dirt out like so see and so see so once I push that dirt out then I'll do it again, take some more out. See? So I'm gonna keep doing that until this is all the way buried with no dirt in here because this is where the pipe is going to go we're going to put the pipe all the way down so let me get rid of this dirt
direction. So now it's clear. So let's do it again. Yeah, so we're just gonna keep doing that until we get all that dirt out. Just like we're making a golf ball. We're making a golf ball here. Pretty much. Yeah, man, so. That way I deal with it in head here. So see it's not gonna take too long. It's gonna be a couple minutes. See it's getting deeper and deeper. Soon you won't see anything. Dirt that's over here is like clear dirt. Yeah, it's more like like a red clay. See, it's almost buried. So the next time around, so see, guys. Let me show you what it looks like. So you see, it's just got a pipe with a hole, and then I'm just gonna put a rope, a cap, to cap it whenever we're not using it. Alright, so the lawnmower will go all the way over it, run over it, and no issue. So as you can tell, it's got a hole in there. So now I just put the umbrella stick straight down in that hole. I'm gonna put that pipe down in there. And then the umbrella stick yeah but that's the the gist of it the idea yeah so I'm gonna take this piece of and the reason why I'm taking using this pipe in there the umbrella was made to go in this pipe right here right so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this onto the bottom of the umbrella pole and slide this piece down into that hole that I just make, made. Um, I could I could slide the umbrella directly down into that hole, but it's gonna make the umbrella shorter. So it's gonna be lower to the ground, right? So when I do it like this, it'll still maintain the same height as if it was in this contraption right here. You see what I'm talking about. And I'm done. Yeah. If I slide it down into the hole, it's just gonna make the umbrella lower to the ground. You know, so when you stand to go under it, it's gonna be too low. But if we put this pipe in the hole, it'll, it'll be right here. So this is the top of the pipe right here. When the umbrella, this will stick above the ground. So the umbrella will just go right here and stop pretty much. So <clears throat> that's what I'm going to do with this. So this is going to go down into the hole. 
right. <coughs> so let's get that get to that part so this whole piece we're not going to use this anymore so now you don't have to worry about bumping your feet into this thing right here when the umbrella is in the ground you don't have to worry about bumping your foot into it the umbrella will just fit in there and when we're not using it we just take it out and cap cap that hole so let me um let me cut this cut the other part Hold on one second Yeah, so I am gonna cut this piece as well. So I do have to modify it a little bit just to get it to work. So if you're gonna try and send this thing back, guys, don't don't be cutting up the, the parts, you know what I'm saying? Um, in this case, I'm not sending it. We're not sending it back, so I could cut it. Got it cut. So now it's just one straight piece like that. And then this someone show you. So this it has um some thing like this right here. Where you could put I'm gonna show you. So it's got these things you could screw in the side. When you screw this in the side, it tightens the pole to this, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two of them in there and then if you notice, this slides down in the hole. So here's the hole right here. We just slide this down in the hole like that, right? So with this being like that, what's gonna happen is when you put the umbrella in, it'll stop right here at ground level just like what it was in this but if you didn't put this in there the umbrella is gonna go all the way down in the ground and makes the whole umbrella goes lower to the ground you know so you can't stand under it so with this like this what's going on man then you're able to see so now we could put we could put umbrella in here so you see now so just like I was saying you know we got neighbors right there if we had our privacy fence that would not happen I would have been behind my privacy fence and then you know I don't know if it's picked up in this camera but he just stepped out and you know we'll, that's why we need a privacy fence pretty much cases like these we know them but then I'm here filming and he just walked out <laughs> you know what I'm saying so with that fence it'll be that wouldn't have happened um, it's not like we're trying to block them out or anything like that but, you know yeah so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this one out and I'm gonna put a regular bolt in there so let me go get the bolt real quick hold on All right, so see we're gonna put a regular bolt instead of the ones with the knob. So the one that goes on the bottom, we're gonna put the, um, we're gonna put the bolt in that one, and then we put the knob on the top. So start this up, and what that does, that just stops the umbrella from going all the way down in the tube. It, it'll come on this bolt and stop on this bolt. All right, so let's tighten that up. All right. So now we could just get our umbrella and stick it in here. 
Let me put you all here so you could see. All right, so let me get down, brother. So by putting, by putting this pipe in there, you could just take it out and then there's nothing, right? Put this in there, like that. We're gonna put the umbrella in. So that's it. So now we just tighten this and our umbrella is in the ground. It won't blow over. It won't, you know what I'm saying? Because of the it's all the way in the ground. You know what I'm saying? So now all we have to do is just open it up. We're good to go. Guys, see, it's it's pretty much um, in the ground. You don't have to worry about this anymore. You know. And then when we're ready, all we got if we want to take it out and cut the lawn, we just remove the whole thing like that. All right. Just remove the whole thing like that. And Good to go. Yeah. And then all we got to do now is just put put our privacy fence behind here, behind this umbrella. We're just gonna put it right here. <laughs> so see, it's already. So it's like we just made a golf ball hole to stick our umbrella in. Pretty cool. So yeah. And then it won't blow over because you know. It won't blow over because the um it's deep. It's like over 12, it's 13 inches in the ground, pretty much. Yeah. You have it, guys. See, umbrella. Let's go over here and you could see it better. See? The umbrella itself is tilted to one side, but I'm looking at it. The hole is straight, but it's the, the top of the alt. The they they join it in the middle. So if you notice, they joined it right here. Right here, it's joined, but it's they didn't make it very strong. You see. It's those Chinese man, Chinese things, Chinese man thing. So that's what makes it looks like it's lean, but it's actually from this joint. If I want to straighten it, I would have to pour holes and tighten this section a little bit more. See, flex it. So yeah, um, that's it for the install. It took me like, I would say, I see what time it took me. Probably ten minutes. <laughs> ten minutes to be honest. Yeah, about 10-15 minutes. So, here's my phone. Oh. Yeah, so I'm gonna move on to the next project, um, which is trying to start cleaning out the garage. I got another hour to um, pick up my daughter. So I'm just gonna roll that umbrella down and um, see it's looking nice already. So just imagine we have our two chairs under there chilling in the daytime. See the sun is just coming over. So on a day like today we could, you know, put the chairs on there and in the morning time. Um, and then, you know, put a little privacy fence behind that. 
put one on this side and then it should be nice you know we'll extend that outdoor area have a grassy area and uh under the porch area you know coming out real nice coming out real nice right, i'm gonna wind this down it's kind of a little bit windy i'm gonna wind it down and secure it and then um move to the next project all right let's clean up our mess um we're gonna we're gonna probably take this pipe back to the truck yard um i don't need it so Alright guys, so I'm gonna put these inside, pack up real quick, and then we head to the garage. Alright guys, so we got our umbrella done. It's looking nice. We could remove it as well or keep it in the hole. So when we're not using it, you know, the, the weather will still take a toll on it, like burn it, even although we've got the cover on there. So we could either remove it and put it over here or we could just leave it out there in the weather. Um, Winter time, you want to take it up. Sun, summertime when it's really hot outside, or rain, it's going to end up getting mildew. So, you would want to take it up, keep it inside, you know. But we we have the option now of moving it. And then, as you can tell, when we take it out, the pole, we could just cut the lawn like, like normal. Um, when I do take it out, I'm gonna get a nice little cap from Home Depot. We could just cap that hole. Um, it's two inches inside diameter, so I'll just get a nice little rubber cap to cap it um, when we're not using it, when we take it out. So that project is done. Um, we got our chairs right here, our nice little lounge chairs right there. I could put it out when I'm doing editing or any kind of outside work. Just to be on the outside, you could hear the birds. See, it's almost 11 o'clock and we still hear birds chirping and, you know, it's nice and quiet back here. On the roads you'll hear cars passing by every now and then but it's still kind of nice back here nice to sit and edit stuff and go through watch some videos get inspiration you know soon i won't be able to enjoy all of that because once the restaurant starts then that's going to be it but um at least i'll have it to come home to you know um guys you have to set up a space in your home or at your home where you could look forward to coming home you know what i'm saying if you if you hate going home then you didn't build a home you know what i'm saying so you have to try and set up that space yeah, you know, no matter where you are even if you're in an apartment apartment try and set up you know a little space in within that apartment or a specific room in the apartment so you could feel like you're at home. Yeah, so now I'm watching Jizzy Burke, Six Boss. Those are who I watch when I'm not editing my own stuff, you know? So, you know, they're in Jamaica. They do adventure videos for all who didn't know. So go watch Jizzy Burke, Professor Bingy. 
Go check them out, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so you know, these are the guys who are watching, you know, Walking TV family, Professor Bingy, Sunrise Boss, David's been here, you know, you know, Color Smith, and all his teams. Yeah, J Bud, Papi, Kanta, um, you know, T Bug, they're all his teams. Um, they all have their own channels, so I watch all of those guys. Um, you know, and then you know I watch Roberto, the crazy dude who travels all over Asia. But yeah, this this is what I do. You know, in the day, this is what I do. So I'm gonna move on to the next project, which is um, trying making some space out there in the garage. I don't know where to start, but I'm gonna see if I could move on to that project. Done with the backyard. Yeah, man. Kind of start feeling hungry already. It's not 12 yet, though. I don't eat until 12, so um, I'll probably get something to eat before, cause then I'm gonna go get my daughter at 12, so. If I do that, then I won't be back up here until maybe 1 2 o'clock before I get back up here. So it's going to be too late by that time. So I'm going to probably get something to eat before I go. All right, guys. So let's see what's going on with the garage. So I'm going to try and see if I could get rid of some of these things right here just to or pack them up a little bit better against the wall. That way we could... um get more space I need all this space available you know, so I'm just gonna move everything rearrange stuff to get it a little bit better all right um, give me a few let me open the door and get going all right it's a lot of stuff guys but we'll figure it out we'll, we'll see at the end of the day where we at all right so first of all let's get this lawnmower out the way and then put the I'm gonna put the vine right here. Um, I could probably take some of these things back to the storage, back to the trailer. So, let's see. I bought this when I was doing the expediting it was getting real snowy out there um, up in Colorado and Nebraska real snowstorm where like the snow was high high like this so I bought these shoes 
when I was out there, but um, I never ended up using it. I ended up leaving from that era to like out in California and Texas. So it was sunny down there. It wasn't snowing or anything. So I ended up buying those out there and never got to use it. But when you're out there in Colorado and Nebraska and up in um, Maine and all these Chicago area, when it snows real bad, you have to get some kind of snowshoes. Your regular shoes won't cut it out here. So, just letting you guys know if you're going up in the Colorado area or anywhere up north, Arkansas, up them places where it snows 10 feet high, you gotta have one of those shoes. Your feet will be freezing and your fingers, you have to have gloves. Some places, ear muffs. But yeah, I had to get those, you know. Alright, let me see. Yeah guys, so just a little update for the day. My dad my daughter school now. Um, I pick her up a little after 12, 4 minutes past 12. I listen, I watch some Sunrise Boss TV. I think I want to watch a film episode, you know? Um, but yeah, my dad, um, I'm going to wait for her, I'm going to drop her off in a minute and then head back home. I did start the, the, I did start clean out the, the, the garage itself, start to take some things out and some, but Jesus, I don't know where to put them. It's like, I'm just a shift around things and, you know, need out like a small stuff I can throw out, but as far as the big items, I don't know, I don't have a clue where to put them. But, I was going to get, get, get rid of the small stuff, get rid of the small stuff, try to pack up, pack up, put things on top of things so that I can get the space to um, do what I have to do. So, um, I think I said, boy, I need to just buy a little shed and put up in the back, the way that I can rest all of them little miscellaneous stuff in the shed. And then, you know, we have the space in the garage to put the equipment. So I think that's what I'm going to do because I, but there's a, there's a, because there's a shed, there's a little shed we have to fit up from, from Lowe's and uh, Home Depot. I think they sell it for about 200 and something dollars, but you have to set it up. It not come with no flooring or nothing like that. So you have to pretty much build a shed, build a, a, a foot flooring, like out of wood or whatever the case is. The last one I did do, I did put wood flooring on top of some some pylon like um like concrete what do you call it concrete 
I guess a pylon you call it. So I'm gonna put the wood on top of that and then build the shed up on top of the wood. So it's a wood structure up on top of a concrete block, pretty much. Um, so I know that I'll probably run around $300. You know, by the time I buy the board, maybe 350 by the time I buy the the, 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 the shed. It's a metal shed, coming in pieces. So by the time I build the metal shed, buy the metal shed, buy the board, the plier sheet, the sheet, and buy the the the, the, the concrete something. Maybe about three hundred dollar or three fifty with taxes. So may I think forget one of those. It's just that the backyard now there's no level spot in the backyard to actually put a shed. So I kinda don't know what I'm gonna do right there. So. Um, did I think also say maybe we can um, turn on the ear, maybe it can make a lot of noise. But also I think I say the food trailer I have, I'm gonna use a lot of equipment out of the food trailer. So I think I say maybe I could have carried that up, put what I need to put in the trailer, pack it up neat in there, and take out what I need to take out out of the trailer and put in the garage. So, like the refrigerator, the the the, the the um the grill them 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 something eh? I'm gonna take them out out of the trailer and then that would have give me space now to pack the stuff them inside of the where they're inside of the garage into the trailer right so I was thinking of doing that as well and I think maybe I that many need for do um yeah maybe I that many need for do because I have to take the stuff them out of the trailer anyway you get me I say so it's best me yeah, I think that's a better idea. You know? Because then when I get the shed and put it around here, so now I'm going to bring the trailer and end up and take the stuff from out of the trailer. So all that space when I create in the trailer, I can rest these things in the trailer. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Good thing there I talk about it. You see, sometimes for all a reason, we don't know. To really see the light, you know? So, um, that will save me $300 and something dollar from buying that shed. A shed is a good addition still, but I don't want to put the shed for go pack up a whoop of things in there. Anytime things go in a shed, it not come back out. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but whenever you go, whenever we build a shed and we put things in it, it never come, that's it. Them space they just create space for, for things go, go, go dead. You know, you buy your harbor things and put in a shed, everything you throw in a shed, and it just never come out back. It never clean. The only thing come out back. At the lawn more and the lawn equipment where you use and cut and put it back. But any any kind of nail and then sitting there and whatever you, you know kind of hammer or anything you put inside there, it never come it never come out. It just go inside there and stay forever till it rust up and stay bad and mold up and, and, and you have to throw it away. And the reason for that is when you put these things in the shed, it end up staying there and you got buy another one. And you keep buying another one. And you put more in there. When you go in there and shed, you say crap. I have one armor in here already and I end up going to buy another one. So sheds, nah, it's not a good idea. Over the years, I have shed in a different different places where I live and everything just going to go dead. So I don't know if you guys can can relate to what I say. Any kind of outdoor shed or storage, things just go inside there so I'm going to die. So um I think I that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna end up this weekend I'm going to probably hook up the trailer and bring the trailer up to my house and then what I can do now is just unload everything out of the trailer and then once I unload it I can, I can put it back and put back the stuff that I'm in the garage in there so it's like I swap my support stuff because I still need the fridge and all of them things at the house anyway um, closer to the restaurant just forget the idea all of my equipment that I have in a one place right now I have stuff in the trailer where I want to go down there. There yesterday I go down there and I say, crap, I have one of this, but I don't need that. I don't need it for the restaurant because I have one already. So by by putting everything we have in a one place where I go use in a restaurant, at least me have a visual of everything. You understand? Check everything, make sure everything works and all of that. So I think that's a good idea. That's what I go do. I go swap out some things out of the trailer. Put the thing them in the where they in the garage where I need in the trailer and take the things that we need out of the trailer put in the garage so yeah um that and that never um 
I'm going to knock that out this weekend, pick up the pickup truck and hook up the trailer and bring it up. Um, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah, so now I'm there, I'm just away from my daughter, I'm going to drop her off and head back and still go try to lighten the load. I'm going to throw out some stuff. Um, we're actually there in the garage. I have a garbage can, so I'm just going to just pile up and pile up. I did record some of that footage right here, but I'm going to do a uh, hyperlapse um, with it. Because it kinda it kinda long. Maybe just leave the camera there rolling 30 minutes out of me back and forth and move around stuff. So maybe I'll just hyperlapse that. Um Yeah. So in a few, I'll just drop her off real quick and then head back home and start just work on the garage, work on the garage. Um you know I have other things that I delay like ordering the blender, I have um I have stuff like the shirts when we can go buy and, and print out those. I have a couple of things you can go do. But see there, check out Jason, um, Sunrise Boss TV. Interesting, you know. I'm sure we have a lot of work going in Jamaica and, and you know, the surroundings. You know, I don't know where they come from, the Portland or, or um, Port Antonio. I don't remember exactly where they come from. But, you know, um, very informative in terms of like what I in the country and in my, in my walk on the streets and buy food and cook food, country life, you know what I say? I watch him almost, I watch, e no, watch every episode them them do. Them Jizzy Burke, Bingy, I don't stop talking about them, I watch after, I definitely watch at daytime. So, um, you know, check them out. Anyhow, I'm going to move on, drop off my daughter and head back home. Alright guys, so, I finally made a little bit of space in the garage um as you can tell this walkway is clear i still don't have anywhere to put some of these junk um i didn't want to just throw them out like this machine right here i got a bicycle my power wash i won't take this back to the truck yard um i'm not ready for it yet so i'm gonna put it in the trailer lawnmower not going but those tables and you know what i'm saying i got some tables back there the barber chair is not going and the rest of the stuff is just personal items so I got a little bit of space right here. I could put a couple of items right here. Um, refrigerators, it's still not enough space, but um, over the period of the rest of the week or next week, I'll, um, as I said, I'm gonna bring the trailer up here. So when I bring the trailer up, I'll take the stuff out, put in here, and then these things I'll put in the trailer. So, you know, um, you know, like some boxes over there, I got some, chairs in boxes over there the salon stuff i'm gonna keep here because i don't want to take it too far but um whatever i could put in the trailer i'm gonna put it in the trailer and whatever is in the trailer equipment wise i'm gonna put it right here because some of those trailer items i'll be using at the salon um excuse the light in here it's, it's, it's dark but yeah some of the the um stuff from the trailer i'll be using in the restaurant like the i have two refrigerators i have the grills in there to 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 put um in the restaurant so i'll just swap those out you know and and make it fit late maybe this weekend i'll probably do it saturday or sunday i'll probably go pick up the trailer but yeah um day is still not done yet um it's about after five i'm gonna wash my hair get that ready for tomorrow i'm gonna get it braided tomorrow so <clears throat> i'm gonna give it a wash uh let's see uh the power wash i started the power wash it's working fine but the hose broke it's been sitting on the, the power side of the hose broke so i'm gonna have to look one of those up i'm gonna write that down um look up power wash power wash hose Okay, yeah, I'll probably buy one on Amazon or something. I'll go to the hydraulic hose place. They normally sell the, the thicker ones. Um, so yeah, um, so everything is done. This morning I did the umbrella. That was, um, that's pretty neat. It's in the ground. Already done that. Um, 
maybe over the weekend I'll probably tackle that little fence I was talking about um, yeah tomorrow I'm definitely gonna do some restaurant stuff I'm, I have to meet that guy tomorrow um, a grease trap guy and then I'll probably go order the the blender tomorrow definitely um, and then over the weekend I'll bring the trailer up yeah so Today, I don't have much to do. I'm going to swing by the salon later on tonight um, just to make sure everything is good. I'm going to wait till everybody's gone, like later on, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. I'll swing over there, um, give it a quick clean. That way, I don't have to get up tomorrow morning early to go down there. Um, so, I'll clean that later on tonight. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so, let's see. What else? I, I'd fix this little thing right here. Um, I, I found it out there in the garage. One of them little food saver thing. It's a little food saver. Um, it wasn't vacuum. The vacuum part of it wasn't working. So I took it apart. Um, I end up took it apart and re realized that the vacuum motor, the pump detached from the motor. So I just reattached it. There's a little pin that, that goes in there. The pin fell out um, and stopped it from vacuum. But it, it works pretty good. The vacuum then sealed pretty good. Um, so I'm, I'm going to just keep it. It's, it's a good thing to have that, that little vacuum sealer right there. It, it, if you have any kind of meats you buy in bulk, you want to vacuum seal it, season it, put it in the fridge. It makes it not get freezer burn. So it's a good little vacuum to have. So anyhow, I'm gonna upload uh, some of today's video. That way it won't take too long later on when I'm ready to edit. So I'm gonna start uploading some of this footage right here um, onto my computer. Um, I already started uploading yesterday's video. So yesterday's video is uploading to the tube now as we speak. So, um, Stay tuned later on. I might close this vlog out with me going to the salon um, or if there's anything else uh, that, that comes up. But now I'm just doing some editing, watching some YouTube videos, um, doing some research in terms of the restaurant, like uh, equipment, just to see if I could find better prices on equipment. So um, stay tuned. Um, I might close it out early and or I might go later on tonight to the salon and then close it off then so yeah check in stay in stay tuned